Are you around tomorrow? I think so. Why? I've composed this new tune for string bass and electric bass guitar. That's really different. I know. So I was wondering if you'd come to the lunchtime theatre tomorrow and play along with me and see how it works. Oh, but it's the weekend. Miss Mimi's going to be here, so she said we could use it. That would be great. How about sometime in the morning? Maybe ten? Perfect. Thanks, Vicky. Come on, Vicky. My dad's waiting. Oh, there you are, Vicky. Hi, Alice. Pretty, please, could you help me? I've got a new recorder tune to learn, and I can't get the fingering right. No problem. We could meet up tomorrow morning. Around 11? Oh, thank you so much. See you tomorrow. <laughs> At this rate, you're going to be spending all Saturday helping your friends. I know. Tomorrow is definitely going to be a busy day. So, you know how you love special days? Yes. Well, tomorrow my dad's doing a special day at his shop, and it's all about one instrument. It's not! It completely is! It's the electric bass! Oh! Fantastic! So, tomorrow's electric bass day? Dad calls it a special promotion, and he's even got a professional electric bass player coming in. Oh, a professional! Someone who plays music as his job! Yes! He's supposed to be really good. Hi, Dad! I'm here! Oh, is something wrong? That bass player I lined up for tomorrow just cancelled. Oh, no! That'll spoil everything! He was going to talk about the electric bass and show what it can do. It'll be no fun without him, I'm afraid. Maybe I could help. I could play my bass instead. What do you think? <gasps> Dad, listen! Vicky's had a brilliant idea. Really? What is it? I play electric bass. And maybe I could play here tomorrow for your special promotion. That is a brilliant idea. Told you. Are you sure you can do it, Vicky? No problem. Mind you, there's a lot to do if I'm going to be ready for tomorrow. Don't forget, Dad. I'm helping in the morning. I can come then too. I need to set up my bass guitar before I help Alice and Marco. That'll be wonderful. Thank you both. Now, off you go for your dinners. Are you sure you can do everything tomorrow, Vicky? Of course, Angelina. No problem. Vicky, can you bring those instruments to the back of the shop, please? These are broken. Does your dad fix them himself? I don't think so. No, I have to send them away to a special place to be repaired. Gosh, there are so many jobs in music, aren't there? Mm, that sounds a bit flat. I must get it tuned. To tighten or loosen the strings to make the sound higher or lower, like on a guitar. You certainly do. Do you tune it yourself, Mr. Mouseling? Goodness, no. I bring in a piano tuner. That's another music job. But I tune my guitar myself. Well, tuning a piano is a little more complicated because there are so many more strings. Now we're ready to set up for the big promotion. I'll just help a little longer and then I better be off. Go. Maybe she got lost. Or maybe she just doesn't like me anymore. Yes, she does. 
And she usually gets to places on time, too. Well, I can't wait any longer. If you see her, tell her I waited. Bye, AJ. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Why is everyone acting like a cricket? Oh, no. Angelina said cricket. <laughs> <laughs> pirouette left, pirouette right. Come on, Angelina. Join in. What do I do? Follow me. Tap, Tap your toes with all your might. Crouch like, like a cricket. cricket. Ready, Ready, steady, steady hop. Come and back, it's never stop. That's the way, Angelina. Now you've got it. Very good. <laughs> Everyone was hopping all over the room, like... Please don't say... You know what? But it was so much fun! Like a silly dance! Yes, but it wasn't dancing to a song. It's marching to a rhythm. One, two, three, four. Watch us march across the floor. <laughs> <laughs> It's called the Camembert Cheer. It's a really old tradition that only Camembert kids know about. Like the school handshake. <laughs> oh, I love Camembert Academy. The cheers and handshakes, the teachers and dance classes. This school is almost perfect. Almost? What's missing? Alice. <sighs> She's my oldest friend. We've been friends for as long as I can remember. She must be so amazing. She's amazing, all right. I want to tell you about a girl, but there's so much to say. over on Saturday and I'll introduce you. You mean we can play with Alice? It will be great. You'll love her. She's here. Angelina. Alice. Mm. <laughs> Everybody, this is my oldest friend, Alice. Alice, this is Gracie. Hello. This is Vicky. Mmm, welcome. And of course, Marco. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. So, what are we playing? You can pick something. Oh, okay. Um, how about. I know. Let's play school. Yes. Um, okay. <laughs> We'll be the students, and you can be the teacher. School time! Um, Alice, I mean teacher, at our school the bell doesn't go clang, clang, clang. It goes ding, 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 ding. She's right. 
like this. Oh, okay. Thanks. School time! Everybody sit down, please. Good morning, class. Good morning, Miss Alice. Who wants to take the register? Gracie? Oh, you forgot something. Forgot what? <laughs> Why, the silly morning stretch, of course. At Camembert Academy, the first thing we do every morning is stand by our desks and stretch to the sky like this. Huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, everybody up and stretch. Uh, but then we bend way over and touch our fingers to our toes. Okay, now touch your toes. Oh, and then we give our bodies a big shake, shake, shake. <laughs> Magnificent Marco, famous marathon mouse thing coming through. Stand back, stand back. And five, six, seven, eight. What about me? When can I join in? Not yet, Marco. How about this? Whee! Marco! What do you think you're doing? I think I'm doing a pirouette. Well, you can stop that immediately. What? Why? A champion runner needs to save his energy for the big race on Saturday. Yes, but it's only Tuesday. Well, you could twist your ankle doing a move like that. Then how would you be able to run? <sighs> I just wanted to dance. Sorry, Marco. I'm going to have to keep my eye on you if you're going to stand a chance of winning that marathon. <sighs> Got you this time, AJ. Oh! Marco, what are you playing now? I'm playing drafts. No time for all that. You should be busy training. You can play drafts after you cross that finishing line. Oh, no dancing, no games, no fun. Oh. Uh, Dad, are you using your camera on Saturday? No, I don't think so. Great! So could you be there at the marathon to take a photo of Marco when he comes in first? Ah. Oh, come on, please. You are the best photographer in all of Chipping Cheddar. Oh, um, OK. <laughs> I guess I could do that. Stupendous! Look, everyone, I can run like Marco. Could you make some flags for everyone to wave along the route? Please. Thanks, Mum. Excuse me, everyone. I need to go upstairs and work on my cheerleader routine. What's a cheerleader routine? Running hard, he'll go far. Marco, Marco, rah, rah, rah! What are you doing, Angelina? I'm a cheerleader. I'm making up some cheerleader chants for my cheerleader team. Can I be a cheerleader, Angelina? It's not easy, Polly. We have to put on a really good show to support Marco when he runs in the marathon. I can do it, I can do it. All right, Polly. Just copy what I do. Okie dokie. M-A-R-C and O. Marco, Marco, watch him go. Hooray! <sighs> That's hard. Being a cheerleader is hard, Polly. There's dancing and gymnastics, not to mention the chanting. What is chanting? Well, a chant is a bit like a poem and a bit like a song. It rhymes, but instead of singing the words like this, 
He's amazing, he's a star. You say them to a rhythm, like this. He's amazing, he's a star. He's our hero, rah, rah, rah. Put the chanting with the dancing, and you've got yourself a cheer. North and south, east and west. We love Marco, he's the best. Backwards, forwards, up and down. Marco Mouse, the best in town. That's great, Polly. Welcome to the team. <laughs> Hooray! Saturday soon came round, the day of the big race. And I'd done everything I could to make it a special day for Marco. Hooray! 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 What? Angelina, what's happening? I organised everything. The balloons, the banners. Everyone's come to cheer you on. Huh? That's the Marco Marathon March. I composed it myself. But, but I never wanted all this. Everybody's come to see you win the race. Win the race? I don't think I even want to be in the race. What? But Marco... All this fuss. I hate it. I've changed my mind. I'm not running in the marathon. Oh! OK. Where is he? Where is that champion runner of yours? Uh, sorry, Dad. Can't stop. I have to go and find Marco. Angelina? Oh, whatever's wrong? It's Marco. He doesn't want to run in the marathon. After all the trouble I went to organising the balloons and the banners and the marching band. I can see you're upset, Angelina. You can't understand why Marco doesn't appreciate all the fuss you've made of him. Exactly! I made too much fuss, do you, Miss Mimi? Well, what do you think? <sighs> I think... Maybe I shouldn't have stopped him dancing and playing draughts. And maybe I did go a bit over the top with all the cheerleaders and chanting and stuff. You did nothing wrong, Angelina. Supporting your friends is a good thing. But not everyone likes that much fuss. The Chipping Shadow Mouse Marathon will be commencing in five minutes. All runners to the starting line, please. I have to find Marco. I know deep down he really wants to run in the race. But where can he be? Is there any special place he likes to go? Uh, he said he likes running in the playground. The playground? Hmm, maybe it's time for you to do a bit of running yourself, Angelina. Yes. Thank you, Miss Mimi. Please, can Vicky and Gracie sleep over? Please, please? Oh, Angelina, are you sure a sleepover is a good idea? Why not? Well, for one thing, they shouldn't even be called sleepovers because nobody ever sleeps. We will sleep. I promise. Also, your dad is out of town and not here to watch you girls. We won't need to be watched, I promise. And you have an important rehearsal tomorrow morning for the big performance at school. That's when I get to do a very tricky double pirouette.
Angelina. <gasps> Ask to Angelina. <laughs> Don't forget there's the carnival tomorrow, of course. That's why we must finish our hats. Please, Mum. We'll be fast asleep by nine, I promise. Well, if it's okay with Gracie and Vicky's parents. <gasps> oh! Just for tonight, Mum. Thanks. Oh, thanks, Mum. <laughs> All the mums said yes. Mm. Tonight is going to be the best sleepover in the history of Mouseland. Can I help you make your hat, Angelina? OK, Polly. You can glue. Okie dokie. Polly, the glue goes on the hats, not on the table. Whoops. Sorry, Angelina. <sighs> Our hat making has turned into a sticky situation, so we're taking a break to practice. Ta da! A pas de chat. That means a cat step. Ta-da! A pas de cheval. That means a horse step. Whoa, whoa! Ta-da! A pas de poly. That means a poly step. Oh! oh. Whoopsie! <laughs> <laughs> It's Children's Day. I'm so happy. Being happy is what Children's Day is all about, Polly. Oh, look. Daddy set up the Children's Day dolls. I love this one. And I love Japanese music. It's so light and delicate. Yes, because there are only a few instruments at one time, like strings and a flute. I absolutely love our Children's Day kites. Look, Polly, did you know that in Japan these are called koinobori and they're for boys? But here in Mouseland, all the girls have one too. Thanks, Mum. I can't wait to hang this outside when Alice and Marco come over. Mine looks like a big fish. Yes, it's called a carp. A really big goldfish. Koi nobori remind children to be strong and brave, like a carp. I'm strong and brave. Oh, <laughs> both my girls are. Marco and Alice are here. Let's get this party started. Happy Children's Day. Happy Children's Day, Angelina. Do you like my coin Nabori? My mum bought me a brand new one this year. It's stupendous. Mm. Oh, that wind is really strong. Are the dolls out yet? Yes. All bow to the Emperor of Japan and of Mouseland. to mine too. And I will sing a song for your royalties. You may sing. You may stop now. My Kintaro's a mighty warrior with super mouse strength. I can even lift up a royal empress. <laughs> hey, put me down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, please be careful with those dolls. They're breakable. Okay, mouselings, who's ready to hang your coin abori? I me, am me, me. I'm ready. Let's go. Oh my, that is a mighty strong wind. My doll. Broken! <gasps> oh! Now Children's 
day is ruined. Oh, Polly. Maybe I can fix the Empress. Really? Really, truly. I'll get started right now. While your mum's fixing the doll, let's go outside and continue with the festivities. Maybe by the time we're done, the doll will be good as new. All right. This is the windiest children's day ever. It's great for Koinobori flying. <gasps> Look, our carp are swimming in the sky. Nabori was brand new. I know. Oh. Welcome back. Where have you all been? Marco's brand new coin Nabori flew away. Oh, that's a shame. Is my doll fixed, Mummy? Not quite. Aww. But you will be able to fix it, won't you? Well, it's a bit harder than I thought. How about if we head upstairs and do the Children's Day dance? I don't feel like dancing. Me neither. This hasn't been the happiest Children's Day ever. But dancing always makes us feel good, doesn't it? Yes, come on. It'll be fun! All right. I suppose so. Children's Day is filled with fun Joy and happiness for everyone Children's Day is fun Happiness for everyone Decorations are everywhere. We celebrate with family and friends. We hold our kites up high and watch them blow in the wind. Children's Day is filled with fun, joy and happiness for everyone. Children's Day is fun, happiness for everyone. Children's Day was supposed to be the happiest day of the year. Well, it hasn't been very happy for me since I lost my coin Nabori. Or since my doll broke. Or since we banged heads. This Children's Day isn't the happiest day at all. It's the worst. There's always next year. I think I'm going to go home and lie down. Yes, me too. <gasps> Look! It's my coin Nabori! How did it get back here? Oh, the damage isn't too bad. I think we can fix it. Too late, Dad. The party's over. Or is it? What is it, Angelina? <gasps> Look at this! <gasps> this leaf looks just like a carp. <gasps> what are the chances of that? Especially on Children's Day. Maybe it's a sign. When 
remember what my mum said about the carp? That it's a symbol of being strong and brave? Exactly! Maybe this means we should try to be strong today. Yes! We shouldn't give up on Children's Day! Well, I suppose I could give it a try. Me too! That's the spirit! Here he is, my handsome prince. Not anymore. The show is over. True. What's that, Marco? It smells... spicy. It's curry. Just like the curry I had when I visited Mount Sahari in India. Mm. Mm. Sounds like you had an amazing time there. I saw so much. Look at this. It's one of the most important stories in India, the Ramayana. One of the most important stories in India is... a comic book? It didn't start out that way. It's a long poem with 24,000 verses. But it's been made into ballets, musical plays, even <laughs> comic books. That's so amazing! The costumes are really pretty. Come on, look at this. These are tabla, Indian drums. Great! Nice rhythms, Marco. I'm glad I found you all. It's time to plan our next lunchtime theatre performance. I vote for Mausolina! Me too! Yes, it's my favourite! But we just did Mausolina. So? I never get tired of it. Me neither. Well, I do. Especially since all I do is kiss the princess. Let's do something else for a change. Like what? Like, how about the Ramayana? Or at least we could sing an Indian song from it. But no one's ever heard of it. Except you. And over a billion others in India. Tell you what, we'll draw straws. Whoever picks the short straw gets to choose. That's fair. <laughs> I won! <sighs> Looks like we're doing the Ramalama. The Ramayana? You like it? All right, here's the song I learned in India. Pravishya! Pravishya. That doesn't sound like any song I've ever heard before. The words are in Hindi, an Indian language. To Maharanyam. Even the music sounds different. Indian musical scales, ragas, have different notes than the scales we're familiar with. Dandakaranyam. Atmavan. There's no way we can sing this. But Marco won fair and square. I know. I just mean that if we even try to sing this song, we'll make a mess of it. We'll be laughed off the stage. We're trying everything to get Marco to do Mausolina instead of the Indian song. What if you don't have to kiss me at the end? I know you don't like that part. I'm sticking with the Ramayana. What if you play the kindly troll instead of me? That's a bigger part. No! I know! Instead of an evil stepmother, you could play the evil stepfather. You could wear a long cape and do an evil laugh. <laughs> I want to do the Ramayana. Just give it a chance. Please. We will. All right. Fine. All right. Try the first line. Pravishya. Pravishya to Maharanyam. Pravishya, Pravishya to Maharanyam. You're singing it wrong. It's not poor wish. It's not about a horrified professor either. It's not any of those things. It's in Hindi, remember? Maybe it would help if we understood what we were singing. Yes. Please tell us more about the Ramayana, Marco. All right. What are those, Marco? 
Did I mention the Ramayana is also a puppet show? There once was a brave prince, Rama. As oldest son of the king, Rama was next in line for the throne. But the king had promised his new wife, Rama's stepmother, that he would grant her two wishes. She wished that her son, Parata, would be king instead of Rama. The king had no choice but to obey. So Rama was banished to the Dandaka forest for 14 years. Hmm. Rama's wife Sita and his other brother, Lakshmana, went with him because they were loyal to him and didn't want him to be alone. Hmm. Mousalina was banished to the forest by her stepmother too. Oh, of course. So the Ramayana's a fairy tale. It's a lot more than that. It's about friends who stand by you, no matter what. Hmm. It's about doing the right thing and never giving up. It is a good story, Marco. I'll give it another go. Me too. I will too. Thanks. And maybe it'll be easier if we take it one word at a time. Pravishya. Pravishya. No, no. To Maharanyam. To Maharanyam. Oh, I know you are all really trying, but maybe this song is just too hard. I suppose we should just do Mouselina after all. I feel so bad for Marco. He really wanted to do that song. I know, but we're just going to ruin it. I don't think Marco would want that. <gasps> oh no, he left his backpack. Do you think he'd mind if I read his Ramayana comic book? I'm still wondering what happened after Rama got to the forest. I don't think he'd mind if you're careful. <gasps> what? What happens? The evil Ravana takes Rama's wife, Sita, from the forest. And then what? I'll show you. Rama got help from Hanuman, the son of the wind god. Hanuman had superpowers. He flew across the sea and found Sita. Rama couldn't fly, but that didn't stop him. He built a bridge across the sea to rescue Sita and defeat Ravana. Rama returned home and was crowned king. He ruled wisely and well for many years. Ha ha! That was stupendous! Mousalina doesn't have the son of the wind god. Or a bridge across the sea. The Ramayana's a great story. And it's great to have friends who stand by you, no matter what, like Rama did. We can be friends like that too. The Ramayana's also about doing the right thing and never giving up. Yes, if Rama can build a bridge across the sea, then we can certainly learn this song. We want to surprise Marco by singing the Ramayana song, but we need help. No problem. I can even show you some Indian classical dance moves to go with the song. Oh, that looks so graceful. Marco will love this. We'll make him feel like he's back in India again. Remember, don't tell him what we're up to. Pretend we're still doing Mousselina. <laughs> we're getting it. We just needed to try harder and not give up. Like Rama. Let's try that part again. Are you reading the Ramayana again? Yes. Well, I've got a lot of time before I go on stage. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Welcome, everyone, 
today we're bringing you a song from a wonderful story loved all around the world for many, many years. Mausolina. The Ramayana from India. What? What? Surprise! <laughs> Ramayana, Ramayana, hear the tale of Rama. Asmava, man of courage, Asmava, Rama. Dudasa, he's a hero, none can match King Rama. That Indian dance looks fun and a nice change from Mausolina. I found it in the back of my wardrobe. Remember when we waved the magic wand and we were the fastest running jumpers ever? And when we were... Prima ballerinas? Why don't you come over this Saturday and use the magic wand some more? Oh, yes! <gasps> oh. Oh, no. I can't come over on Saturday. I promised Vicky that... Angelina, I've got your ticket! The tap dance concert has sold out, but my mum has got the last two tickets for me and you! <gasps> oh, I love tap dancing! I'm so lucky I could invite a friend! Oh! Oh, you'll have so much fun! Uh, Come on! Uh, it's the first day of Camembert Junior Chorus! Oh! Thanks for reminding us, Marco! Wow! We all get to sing together! Angelina! I've been waiting for you! You wanted to see my fashion drawings, didn't you? Oh yes! I forgot! Angelina! We're poem partners, and I found the perfect poem. Oh. I thought we could be partners. I wanted to be your partner, Angelina. Oh, sorry, but Marco asked me first. Angelina, come and see my drawings! Phew! Everyone wants to talk to me at once. I feel dizzy. Sorry, I'm coming, Gracie. Hello, class. <gasps> Ready for your first day of Camembert Junior Chorus? Yes! I'll look at your drawings at lunch, okay? Right, everybody. Is this a good position for singing? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> la 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 This is hard. <laughs> You're not joking. Try this. La 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 la. La 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 la. That sounds better. Because we're standing up straight. Exactly. Let's stand up tall, side by side, and get ready to sing our song. <gasps> Sorry. Hmm. Oh, we're all singing at different times. Is that what a chorus does? No. no. Everyone sings together. Absolutely. Ooh. That looks like our friendship wand. It's called a baton. Now, singers, watch me. And when I point to you, sing. 
Someone sure to be the someone next to me. You're that someone once again, and that makes you my friend. <laughs> so, if a chorus starts together, should a chorus end together too? Yes! Let's try the last line again. You're that someone once again, and that makes you my friend. Better! Now, everybody choose a partner to sing a note with. Come on, Angelina. Be my Over partner. Here. Be me, Angelina. Who should I choose? Mm. Be Come my on, Angelina. Angelina. Over here. I have an idea. I can be partners with everyone. Someone sure to be the someone next to me. You're that someone once again, and that makes you my friend. Someone tried and true in old times and the new. You're that, that someone, someone once again, and that makes you my friend. Someone with a heart, who's helpful from the start. You're that someone once again, and that makes you my friend. Someone really kind, who's never hard to find. You're that someone once again, and that makes you my friend. Everyone join in. <gasps> oh, we'll work on more tomorrow. At least I don't have to choose between friends here. Let's practice our poem together. Let's practice tap dancing. <laughs> oh, Angelina, <gasps> you said you would look at my fashion drawings. The lunch table is very crowded today. We can share the seat, Angelina. Oh! <laughs> 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 Let's try back to back. <gasps> <laughs> this is just like musical chairs. That's it. Let's play musical chairs. We can use the friendship wand like a baton. I'll be the conductor. We all have to watch Angelina. Oh. Someone sure to be. The someone next to me, you're that someone once again. I've got one! I'm sitting! I've got one too! Oh, I still don't have a place to sit. Can we play the game once more? Yes, that was fun! <sighs> someone sure to be... I've got one! I've got one again! <gasps> oh, that was not fun! <gasps> Gracie, where are you going? Hey, Angelina, you promised we'd practice our poem. Uh, and what about our tap steps? Well, um, let's use the friendship wand again, Angelina. Oh, we missed our chance to dance. And we can't do our poem now. No more one today. And I don't like this lunch game. Oof. Oh no. Now all my friends are cross with me. Oh. 